So this is Tunguska. Yikes. It's good to be back in the USSR, but this place makes the rest of Siberia look tropical. Yeah, a little nippy. I better incinerate something for heat before my tool falls off. Can't have that. But I think we can arrange an opportunity for creative combustion. We need to gather intelligence on Project Solaris. Want to help me out? You know it, sugar. What do you need me to do? I'm not sure yet. I'll know more after Agent Sergei briefs me. Sergei? Ah, oh, man. Not him again. Yes, him again. He's been here for weeks, digging up intel on Project Solaris. Yeah, he's a regular 007 off. What's he got that I ain't got? Hair, for one thing. Here he comes. Let me do the talking. The Ukraine girls knock me out. Moscow girls make me shout. It's good to see you, Sergei. Natalyushka. You look devastating, as usual. I know, but we have no time for further verbal foreplay. What can you tell me of Project Solaris? Not as much as I'd like. Not as much as I'd like. There is a classified area nearby, obscured day and night by a cloud of radioactive gas. I believe it is the source of the insidious organic weapons being used to subjugate... Svolochi. Duh. The area plans are kept in a high-security section of KGB headquarters. Can you sneak us in? You and your little Zaitchik? I don't see how. Now, if it were just the two of us... Jealousy, Sergei? Though the fire fades, comrade, the embers may yet smolder. Even in the tundra. Thank you, comrade. We'll find our own way in. Now go. You mustn't be seen with me. So, exactly what kind of history do you have with this Sergei guy? Exactly the kind you think, Crypto. Not that it's any of your business. Hey, see whoever you want. You can bang the Red Army Chorus for all I care. Your permission is noted. Now can we get to work? Okay, so how do we get our hands on the plans? Sergei says we'll have to sneak into the KGB headquarters and steal them. Oh, Sergei says that, does he? He does. The odds will be against us. The place is swarming with agents. Well, Crypto says bring them on. The more, the freaking merrier. Okay, then. Hmm. Actually, you might be onto something there, Crypto. If you can create a large enough disturbance, it might lure most of the agents out of the building. And while I'm playing monkey ball, you'll sneak in and grab the plans. Gotcha. Okay, dull face, I'm off to stir up the Soviet. Careful in there, you hear me? Don't worry, Crypto. You keep them occupied, and I'll be just fine. Whatever you do, just keep them away from the HQ building. Good luck. Crypto, hurry! Glad you could make it. There's a safe house not far away. 
intruders down! Not bad, huh? If there's one thing I can do, it's make with the boom boom. So how about those plans, you swipe? They the real deal or what? I just had time to glance at them quickly before the alarms went off. There seem to be a number of tunnels, and a lot of security around them. And it looks like the tunnels have these bizarre organic pumps inside, which are what's pumping the radioactive gas over the area. So I take it we're gonna put these organic pumps out of business. Da, but a direct assault would be dangerous. I need to talk to some people. Lay low for a while, Tovarish. I'll be back soon. Why do they always ask me to do the one thing I suck at? Dobry den, Tovarish. Hey, gorgeous. Do you find out any more about those tunnels? What I found is a scientist who works in the Organic Weapon Technology Program here. He knows all about the machines in those tunnels. I, uh, persuaded him to talk. What'd you find out? Is there any easy way to shut those things down? Those pumping machines are actually organic little nuclear reactors. Incredible! Not to mention highly unstable. A nuclear fuel rod placed inside one will overload it and cause a meltdown. And there just happens to be a nuclear plant in town. Ought to be a few fuel rods lying around. Exactly! If you get some fuel rods, Sergei and I will smuggle them into the tunnels. Okay, Goldie, I'll get your fuel rods for you. But I expect a big... Agent Sergei is acquiring some transportation as we speak. He'll meet you when you find them. Hm. You can ask him for your reward. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! Finished already! And here I was, just getting started. Of course, I work out. Don't know if you knew that. Thank you, Crypto. Sergei and I can take it from here. I'll bet. Uh, hey, how about I just stick around and help you out myself? You know, since I'm already here, I'm sure Sergei's a busy guy. You know, embassies to bug, dissidents to torture. You're very generous, Crypto. But I think he can find the time. I'll rejoin you once he and I have disabled the machines in the caves. Until then, try and stay out of trouble. Well, that wasn't condescending. So... He makes time with my girl while I sit around and twiddle my phalange pods. is that it? Well, homie, don't play that. I made it through a whole nother game all by myself. I don't need anybody's permission to knock some monkey heads. Certainly not some... chicks. Privet, Tovarish. How's it hanging? A little to the left. Hey, hey, not bad, Goldie. So, did you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Yet. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? 
Да. But not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, dollface. Consider those bumps out of order. Boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh my. Holy hookers of art! Crypto! Do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute. I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out. I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses, but a few of them must have somehow survived. Not for long. Attention, Blisk. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My... my hard drive is spinning! I hardly know where to begin! They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis! They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation! They take to it like a pig to mud! Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster! Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska Blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship! Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. 
And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Clear to ride up. Привет, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the Organic Weapons Program. His name is Dr. Orloff. And? No end. That's it. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot, coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. The Rolf has locked himself inside cabin. Flush him out. Yes, the name. You and your grunt work game. Side out. Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. 
I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris, but I quit after I saw very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it. Whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk. Will wonders never cease? Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care. Facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuriakin. Ilya Kuryakin, nice to meet ya. Well, hello. How nice of you to drop by. Okay, Hawks, what are we gonna do about these crabby blisk? They'll undoubtedly kill us if we don't kill them first. Therefore, there's only one thing we can do. Destroy them! Starting with their crashed warship. Unfortunately, as discussed, its hull is impervious to Furon weaponry. It does, however, have a weakness. The main thruster protected by an armored hatch. Open that hatch, Crypto, and then bring on the Boom Boom! You are so cute when you do that. So how do I get this thruster hatch open? It's got to be locked down tight. It is. And my scans reveal the hatch controls have been disabled. It seems the Blisk have removed the Nexus crystals powering the circuit, but not destroyed them. Those crystals are still around somewhere. I'm reading a faint Nexus signature somewhere inside the Blisk base. Find the Nexus crystals to power the circuit and open the hatch. Then... Destroy that warship! I think little Crypto just woke up. All right, Poxy. I'm tan, rested, and ready. Let's bring this crab pot to a boil. Bam! Right! Head for the Blisk base and see if you can find those crystals. I'll keep scanning while you're inside. If I lock onto the crystals, I'll let you know. And be careful. These blisk are a lot stronger than- Anybody else I've fought, I got it. Don't worry. Ponzabi was right about one thing. Everybody cracks. Second Nexus crystal down. Now, grab the last one so we can open that hatch and blow these blisk to oblivion. Third time's the charm. My brother, there's a weak signal coming from one of the crystals above you. Seems to be emanating from atop the warship. Looks like you'll have to scale those spires to get this one. Excellent, Crypto! You recovered all the Nexus crystals! And I owe Gastro a fiver. Now, to open that main thruster hatch, you'll need to insert those crystals into the sockets on the mothership to reconnect the circuit. Fabulous work! The hatch is open! Now 
know the part I know you've been waiting for. Call in the saucer, Crypto, because it's time to play Blow Up the Blisk Warship. And remember, don't waste your ammunition firing in the hull. The only vulnerable spot is inside that thruster. You seen the blonde babushka? She's supposed to meet me here. No, I haven't. As a matter of fact, you haven't even properly introduced us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to impress her. Oh, relax. I have more pressing matters than torpedoing your grand designs. Actually, I was hoping she could help us track down Milinkov. Perhaps she's with Agent Sir. She better not be, man. I have had it with that smug jerk off. Look at me. I'm so handsome. I'm so smart. I read poetry. I wrestle bears. Regardless, you should probably find Natalia. She may even need your assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Good. Snoop around. Somebody must have seen her. Uda chica, lad. Crypto! Thank Lenin you're here. The worst has come to pass. Sergei is infected. Ah, for crying out. Uh, tell me you use protection. Uh, or don't they teach sex ed in the young pioneers? Kakaya, that needs us. I am not talking about STDs. He's been infected with alien spores! Indeed, he has, Lapushka. And I'm afraid penicillin won't do the trick. Hello, Cryptosporidium. Millenkov. Uh, sorry to rain on your Communist Party, but uh, in case you haven't noticed, your little base looks like Keith Moon redecorated. You've lost. Such bluster. Such arrogance. You're beginning to sound like real American. Soon you'll be wearing cowboy head and speaking in monosyllables. Says you. The truth is, this base means nothing. At this very moment, we are preparing to initiate the final phase of Operation Solaris from our ultra-secret main facility on the moon. It's the ultimate fruition of the Stalinist ideal. What a shame. Neither of you will be there to see it. Goodbye, Lapushka Moya. Do svedanya, Kratos Peridium. Krito, leave me! Stop kneeling, go! Keep your kakashnik on, dollface. You think I'm flying to the moon without you? Crypto, you 
You should be able to kill those nerves on the organic gas line. And stop them from pumping gas into the chamber. Hurry! Natalia is running out of air! <laughs> Hi, Rachel. The air is getting a little bit thick in here. Look, it, it sucks that Melenkov got away, but I couldn't let you, you know. I know, Crypto, and thank you. But we still have to stop Melenkov, and he's halfway to the moon by now. Ugh, what are we going to do? Uh, hello? Have saucer, will travel. I was wondering when you'd ask. Your saucer can take both of us all the way to the moon? You kidding? I've done so many mods on that baby, she'll give you everything but the happy ending. Nice of you to join me. Okay, sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the spores derive energy from massive radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can slow them down. Radiation. Why does it always have to be radiation? <laughs> oh. So how do they get their radiation supply? Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of the rovers to the mining site. Is that all? I thought it was gonna be some hard. You got it, babe. Serious intel on Moon Base Solaris. Right. Moon Base Solaris consists of two primary areas the Blisk Base and the Cosmonaut Base. Like two lobes of the same twisted mind. Okay, what do we know about the Blisk, aside from their ugly sin? They are indeed a most repulsive race and incredibly vicious. Further, they treat their workers very badly and have offensively short tempers. Any resemblance to present company is completely coincidental. Okay, what about the cosmonauts? Well, they're just humans, of course. Albeit the cream of Soviet citizenry. They think their leaders here represent some sort of shadowy Kremlin cabal. Of course, the Blisk have been playing them like puppets. Not that they realize it. They're so proud. If they knew how the Blisk were using them, they'd be furious! Sounds to me like we need to send the cosmonauts a little wake-up call. Not a bad idea. A crowd seems to be assembling in the cosmonaut base. Why don't you check it out? I think it's time the puppets met their masters, hmm? 
Okay, I got it. Turn the cosmonauts against the Blisk. This is gonna be fun. What is being then? Low gravity is being delightful. Although it's difficult playing volleyball in spacesuit. I have boiler to fix, busted generator to repair, and blisk waste receptacles to empty. And now I am having to waste time at stupid speech in cosmonaut base? <sighs> Better get number three arm on the way. Ahem. Uh, is this thing on? Ah, uh, good day, comrades. Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid, why we have to work in such long hours at hard labor? Good question. The Blisk have you guys working way too hard. And you know what? It's time we did something about it. Who's with me? Ugh, Leonid is right. Bliskovics have taken advantage of our good natures. Hmm. But Leonid... Why we have to leave in beloved country and coming to this hellhole? Da, is being worse than Verkhoyansk in February. That's what I'm saying. No air, no chicks. This place sucks, and it's all the Blisk's fault. It's true. Leonid is saying what we're all thinking. But Leonid, why we are never seeing beloved Premier Milinkov anymore? Da, he used to be flying up frequently for surprise holiday photo ops. Da, mission accomplished. <laughs> that was being good one. Milinkov, he's kind of busy, you know, partying in the Mediterranean. On his 50-foot yacht, with the Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders. Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders? You are yanking with my chain. While we are being stuck in unisex moon base? Pistons! Hmm. But comrade, why we are not being allowed in the area northeast of here? Da, what are you having to hide? Because Milenkov thinks you're too drunk and stupid to go over there without getting lost, that's why. Drunk? Okay. But stupid? Why, that's sopa! Ah, we can no longer be trusting Premier Milenkov. Oh, it ain't just Milenkov, kids. The Blisk think you're a bunch of morons, too. Bliskovics also? Uh, but they are always telling us Soviet Union will be ruling world. Dalian it! What evidence you are having to mistrust Bliskovics? Evidence! They're controlling your minds! I am thinking Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid is drinking too much Revelade. They've taken over your entire government! Comrade Leonid is perhaps watching too much American television. They're giant freaking lobsters from outer freaking space! Mm. We are seeing long-term psychological effects of space travel. Poor Leonid. They're taking away your vodka! Oh, this... this is being outraged. Anything else can be endured if we are having vodka. Ah, without vodka? Russia would have been democracy 200 years ago. This will not be standing. There is being no such thing as free lunch, Bliskovics. Yeah, give me vodka or give me death. Da! Yeah, so what does this mean for the Bliskovics? Bad news for the Bliskovics. That's the spirit! Now get out there, find the bliss, and kill them crabbies dead! For what go!
Okay, Pox. I've cut off the source of the Blisk's radiation. Demolish the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance. And basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves. I think you're right. Well, why in the hell? You do? I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for all. What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Okay, keep your G-string on. There's gotta be a way to stop that launch. What? How did you know about my G-string? No, no, never mind! Once initiated, there's no way we can abort the launch. However, if we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might veer off target. Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man, whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs! Now go! Cryptosporidium, once again you showed unexpected pluck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Huron. Get this through your monkey brain, Bill and Cobb. We own that planet, and there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our fiendish master plan? You two-bit tin-horn petty tyrant! I fart bigger than you! 
You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong died, Cryptosporidium. I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew our fiendish master plan? Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our devilish master plan? Jeez, you guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess, you and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and crabbies. A match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Crappies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You fool on so to death. But Earth, Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity to become a new Eden, a new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk. But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. <laughs> My people? <laughs> oh, you really are very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War? Encourage the buildup of nuclear arms. Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk worship crashes. 1970, October Revolution. To the man! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us. Da. You're not suggesting. Suggesting. I'm telling you. Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev. Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for sure to live. Face it, Kritos Poridium. You Furans have been out scheme. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth. The loss of our sports is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference. Soon, Earth will be ours. No more humans, no more food on DNA. And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Let's throw ya, Cryptosporidium. up your sleeve, you mentioned. Ah, through the sloins, I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. 
Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there, waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. Look, wonderful. Radar overloaded again. And now I am needing to run around all over Solaris to be fixing. Thank Lenin, comm towers are still operational. If one more machine is breaking on this stupid rock, I am crawling into one bottle and never coming out. Not enough comm towers are active, Crypto. The signal isn't strong enough for Crypto, the cosmonauts are sending in anti-air anti-space forces to eliminate the moon lander. Too much damage and it'll crash to the surface in a fiery cataclysm. Cool, yes, but we need the intact. Now get out there and whack those commies! See you, you won't believe it. The bliss scar planning to kill humanity and turn Earth into an irradiated water world. I know. Oh, well, uh, uh, the good news is Pox has concocted a virus which will cause the bliss to spontaneously combust. I know. Oh, how'd you know? I'm a spy, it's what I do. Okay, well, uh, so what are we gonna do? 
We're going to bring these Flolachi to their knees, that's what. I'll release the virus. You just keep those Krebbies off me while I do it. They're not touching a hair on your pretty little head, Dollface. Trust me. They'd better not. I told you, I'm allergic to shellfish. But one way or another, Tavarish, this base is coming down hard. I am so turned on right now. Hey, it's only the fate of our species, right? We can do this. I'm ready. Are you ready? Da, comrade. I'm ready. And spaceman? Good hunting. Rock and roll! Boy, honey! Cover me, Crypto! With a weapon this time! Hold them off! Suck on this, Krabby! Please, Joker! Hit them hard! to pretend. I know how you feel about humans. Well, not all humans. Natalia! You're gonna pay for that, you son of a bitch! I've been ringing you for hours. What in the galaxy is going on out there? Sorry, Poxy. Uh, just working on a little science project. Wait, Crypto! You're finally showing an interest. 
I knew one day you'd make an excellent scientist, if only you were properly motivated. What is it? Physics? Biology? Little above. A little up. Wait a minute. I'm detecting residual heat from the cloning lab. Crypto! You did it! Listen, you little pustule! If anyone's getting a new clone around here, it had better be me! Who was that? Kriptushka? Telemarketer. Nothing to worry your sexy little head about. Whatever you say, my insatiable alien love czar. Wake me up when you're ready for re-entry. I made a few adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> 